in this industry, a lot of people don't know how cutthroat it is. I never saw it as a competition, but in this day and age and what, what it's become, it's kind of like they've made me get into that mode. You know, I'm, I'm just gonna take over. For Complex News, I'm Pierce Simpson here at the third annual Complex Con in Long Beach, California. The guy to my left, whenever the Jordan brand is following you on Instagram, you're doing amazing things. So I'm here with Kick Street Diamonds. Kick Street Diamonds, how you doing, man? We were talking before the camera started rolling. You've done a lot of creative work with some of the top players in the NBA, most notably Carl Anthony Towns, who rocked a custom P that you created for him with the Hyperdunk. Instagram was going crazy when he wore that. How do you link up with some of these top tier NBA talent? I was off social media for a whole year. And uh, I had to swallow my pride, I got a kid, so I had to get like some nine to five, actually with overtime job, like in a warehouse, hard labor. Yeah. And I just hated it. So I was like, all right, you know what? I'm just gonna go on social media and just, just see what it's looking like. I noticed some of my followers, I had like Fabulous, uh, Hassan Whiteside, Carl Anthony Towns. So I saw Kat and I was like, yo, I mean, it sounds funny, but like, I was like, I'm gonna shoot my shot and yeah. I'm gonna send him the DM real quick and see if he wants this work, you know what I mean? And I kept it real and I was genuine. And I told him, you know, I, I struggle, I'm still struggling. Like, like, you know, I still got a lot to learn. And he liked the fact that I was genuine and I wasn't pretending to be somebody I wasn't. Right. So within a week, I was, at, I was at his crib. He pretty much said, you help me look good on the court and I'll help you blow up in the NBA. Were you able to get connections through him? It was a, it was a crazy snowball. I mean, it was Montrez Harrell from the Clippers. Then Montrez went to, to Louisville, mm -hmm. and he was friends with Donovan Mitchell. Right. So one day I'm at the Clipper game, and I get the passes to meet the guys after the game. And I'm like in the hallway, and he's like, yo, yo, come with me real quick. I was like, all right. Yeah. And he takes me to Donovan Mitchell. That's incredible. And he's like, yo, this is my guy. Like, yeah. You know, and that, that's what opened that door. There, now I'm doing the whole jazz team. Like, it's just these experiences are crazy. Like I mentioned at the start of the interview, we're here in Long Beach, California for Complex Con. Being able to walk the floor and see just the different types of things going on, the people, the booths, installations, the panels. Are you able to uh, garner creativity and inspiration from that? Fashion itself is an art, and there's all kinds of fashion out there. Now it's a goal of mine to have my fine art out there. Like, for me, it's not just about shoes, like, my art it resonates in all different forms. Like I, I do canvas work, I could do murals, I could paint anything. So it's, it's just, it's a wider range. Is it difficult to transition from sneakers to fine art? Well, something that, that I've been doing and I don't want to say I'm the first to do it because I'm definitely not, but I have my own style of it is I do a lot of drips. Right. Like, like this drippy abstract like concept art. I tried to do it in a way where people will know that's my work. And then I said, I need to look outside the box because do I just want to be known as that guy that paints shoes or do I want to be known as that artist, you know, globally? So I started adding those drips onto my canvases and then making characters that are like melting, you know what I mean? And it's like nostalgic characters and stuff. And, uh, you know, I already had that network with these players, so it just made sense to start, you know, hooking up some of my main guys. And as people started seeing these guys with these paintings, it just kind of opened the door to that side. So you have a show on the way. You got your name in the title, which is impressive. Kicking it with Kicks Thomas. I mean, yeah. Tell us a little bit about the show. The way I seen it is kind of like a MTV Cribs style, okay. Okay. I'm with but it. also like crossing over to West Coast Customs. Yeah. But not only am I like the little Mexican dude in West Coast Custom, <laughs> I'm also like the host of MTV Cribs. Yeah, <laughs> I, I kind of do it all, you know what I'm saying? So that, oh, that, that, that's kind of that's kind of what it is. Christian Thomas, I'm looking forward to the show. I'm looking forward to what you do with all these NBA players. Listen, my boy Luca in Dallas, you know, I'm a Mavericks fan. That's my boy. You yeah. got something planned with him? Wesley what? Matthews, I've been doing Luca since he was in um, Listen, overseas, you know what I'm saying? No Say no more. Say no more. My man. Best of luck to you. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Be sure bro. to go down to the floor. Complex Conf, Pierce Simpson, Kickstarter Domus. Yeah.